Barbecue is a Texas legend. It doesn't get better than that. They've been smoking and serving award-winning barbecue for more than 87 years. And according to Kent, the food hasn't changed a bit. We cook the same way we did back in the 1930s and 1940s. In fact, we still have a pit uh, in Lockhart that my dad built in 1945 that we use every day. We're, we're air conditioned now. That's a nice improvement. We have a little fancier cash registers. Um, we take credit cards. That took us a while to do that. Kent Black is the grandson of Edgar Black Sr., the mastermind behind the origin of Texas style barbecue. Barbecue is a, a classic, traditional uh, barbecue joint in Texas. Uh, my grandfather uh, started the business in 1932. We've been here for 87 years. I'm third generation in the business, and my kids are fourth generation. And uh, we're going to keep cooking the same way we did back in 1932. The barbecue joint started in Lockhart, Texas, and now has four locations across the Lone Star State. We opened in San Marcos uh, about five years ago, great town, uh, great customers. We opened in uh, Austin uh, soon after that, up at 31st and Guadalupe. And then just last summer, uh, we opened in New Braunfels. So, so we went from one restaurant, 82 years, and then four or five years later, we added three more. I don't think there'll be any more locations. The reason is I'm out of adult kids. Uh, unless I can adopt some adults, uh, I'm, I'm sort of... Uh, I'm available for adoption. Right? Uh, okay, man, let's, we'll, we'll pitch you for an apron. Each location replicates the same vibe and smoker from the original location, but the building that the San Marcos location resides in has just as much history as the barbecue. 82 years we had one location and so uh, we figured after 82 years I think we're ready to do another store. The building used to be an old cotton warehouse with the cotton gin located right next door and Ken's family used to be cotton farmers and actually used this building. Well, I know I'm carrying on a family tradition of, of barbecue and a way of cooking that you, you just, it's almost impossible to find anywhere else but at Black's Barbecue. And Kent isn't afraid to get his hands dirty. So he's weighing uh, about 14 pounds, 13, 12, 13. Welcome to the original Black's Barbecue here in San Marcos. I'm Kent Black, and we're going to just uh, quickly show you how we do some trimming to our certified Angus brisket before we uh, get it ready for seasoning. The fat end up here, uh, a lot of marbling. You got to lean in down here. I like to start here uh, on this on this lean in. And the first thing we want to do is, is square it up a little bit. So we're going to cut this off here. We like to square up the brisket because if you have the, all these loose pieces like this in your cooking process those are just going to burn up. We don't like to have uh, square edges. The heat, the smoke doesn't flow around that uh, properly so we're going to round that off. I like to have this end of the brisket three quarters to an inch tall. So this is very short. Cut this off right here. For those of y'all watching at home, this is a great cut of meat. You can grill this uh, on, on the grill. Uh, you can smoke it. You can uh, cook it and then put it in your pinto beans. So so don't you know? Don't throw this away. Now, fat is your friend cooking the brisket. We can just go down here a little bit and take some of this out. So we're going to cut some of this off right here. And look at that, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that marbling on there. That's some, that's some great chuck meat. We, we think a big part of our success is the high quality beef we use, certified Angus. And we've been uh, cooking with that for about 40 years. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's more expensive, but it's worth it uh, for the consistency and the taste and the quality. Blue brisket is going to come with this piece of fat on it right here. It's just the way God made the brisket. So take your knife. Keep it real level right here and just kind of level this off. And what we'll do at the original Black's Barbecue is we will use this to make our sausage. So now that's looking nice. We're going to sprinkle this on here, okay, but we're not going to stop there. But then we're going to rub it in. You got to make sure you season uh, all the sides of brisket. I ask people, how many sides does brisket have? Most people will say two. Nope, it's got a top, a bottom, and four sides. We're going to go along the side. We're going to rub it in real good. We're going to spin over here to this lean side. We're going to cook this brisket with the fat side up. And in about 14 hours, you got just some world-class brisket from here at the Original Blacks. 
history and culinary significance of Black's Barbecue is extremely interesting, but the barbecue and sides are why you need to make this your next dining destination. All right, you got the spare ribs, you got the pork ribs, you got three different kinds of sausages, the fatty brisket, the lean brisket, turkey, and their big beef dino rib. Look at this thing. That's huge. It looks like a oversized harmonica. My goodness. Tender, salty, delicious. I mean, it's falling off the bone. And for the sides, they offer peach cobbler, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, green beans, pinto beans, pecan cobbler, coleslaw, potato salad, Oreo chocolate pudding, banana pudding, and smoked red cabbage with pork belly. Well, Ken, thank you so much for having me out here today. You guys, you can come out to Lockhart, San Marcos, New Braunfels, and Austin. I mean, just delicious barbecue, great people. The service is fantastic, but the food is just that much better. You guys got to come out here and try it. And I mean, Ken, you're ready to dig in too. It's time to eat, man. <laughs> Go for it. We're cruising to a San Marcos taco truck serving a massive 17 inch breakfast taco. No, that is not a small child. <laughs> that is a breakfast taco. Let's go inside Big Daddy's taco truck. Big Daddy's taco truck is operated by four people, a husband and wife and two cooks. Whose recipes are these? Well, they're my wife's, Ruben's, and Maria. They've been cranking out delicious food for years, including their insanely huge breakfast taco. Give me a second. Do you do like a tri-fold on it? The big tortilla is rolled out fresh every order. It's cooked to light golden perfection and loaded with bacon-packed refried beans, saucy carne guisada, and shredded cheese. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Coming up, I attempt to eat this massive breakfast taco. I feel like I have to tell it a bedtime story before I eat it. Plus, we get a quick bite at San Antonio's newest snack shop on the south side. It's just icing all over this thing. Here we go. So stay right here on Elder Eats. Taco truck is a San Marcos taco truck serving huge breakfast tacos. I mean, we're talking at least 15 inch circumference. Like this 17 inch breakfast taco that I'm going to attempt to eat. I'm going to fold this bad boy in half. We're just going to go for it. Give me a second. Do you do like a tri fold on it? <laughs> you want to hold the tray for me, sir? Thank you. This is teamwork. This is how you make the dream happen. Oh my goodness, y'all. That is amazing. <laughs> this is the coolest thing I've filmed so far, man. Oh, it's delicious. The beans have a great flavor to them. You can taste that bacon. And the carne gustada is perfect. It's tender, it's delicious. The sauce is amazing. And the salsa, it's a little pica, a little bit. But it's good, man, it's good. And that cheese is fantastic, and the tortilla is really good. It's a good texture on it. And as you can see, it's holding up. That means it's sturdy. The taco truck also serves up puffy breakfast tacos. They actually do a breakfast puffy taco. What? I know. And they're putting pico de gallo right on top of it, making it fresh in-house. This one has eggs, potatoes, bacon, and I'm missing one more. Sausage. <laughs> Beans on the bottom. I mean, this thing is, and they're, and they're huge. Woo, that's burning my fingers. Ay, Dios mio. Okay. <laughs> that looks tasty. I mean, the food is great. The the, the the fact that you can do combinations, like I can get a barbacoa taco and they'll add an egg for me if I want, or, you know, this just the versatility of what they they want to do for the customer. Everything here is fresh. You guys got to come check them out. Big Daddy's Tacos. They're over here at a little gas station. Uh, we got the address right here on the screen. 15 to 17 inch breakfast tacos. Where are you going to find that? Breakfast puffy tacos. Great stuff. Now, we're headed to the south side of San Antonio for the newest snack shop off South St. Mary Street. There you go. This is 12 Stone. It looks like a unicorn. <laughs> 12 Stone is located across from Brackenridge High School, serving up unique treats like their waffle pops and waffle dogs. We have Nutella on top, semi-sweet chocolate morsels on there as well. And just check this out. Oh yeah, <laughs> that looks amazing. Here we go. 
Oh, y'all. You're going to need at least a glass, one or two glasses of milk. If you want a frozen treat, but you like chocolate candies as well, well, guess what? They're putting them both together out here. It's the Almond Joy Snow Cone. Tres Leches, Ghirardelli chocolate on there, all kinds of almonds on there as well. Coconut shavings, it's exactly what you want, and it comes with a spoon. Look at that. If you are not gonna come out here and eat this Almond Joy, I get a new spoon. You're doing something wrong and you need to fix it. This is absolutely delicious. The little snack shop is from Lytle, Texas and is proud to call San Antonio home. Uh, we started in Lytle. We had a little concessions trailer. We operated that for about a half a year and uh, God opened up the door for us to be able to step into a brick and mortar and serve this community around San Antonio Southside. Coming up, the all vegan bakery, Miss Chickpea's Bake Shop is live at Market Square to show off some tasty treats. So don't go anywhere. Elder Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Elder Eats. We're live here at Market Square. And as you can see, that is a massive Pop-Tart. Look at the size relation here too. Actually, that was, you can see how big that is though. Look at the tray. Anyways, we have all vegan treats here ready to display for you guys. And Tatiana Martinez of Miss Chickpea's Bake Shop is here to talk more about everything. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And you brought all your delicious treats. We were actually there last week, but we gave like a quick snippet on the actual store that you have. But we want to know, why is it called Miss Chickpeas? So it's a funny story. We started out making vegan macaroons, and macaroons are typically a whipped egg white meringue. Right. Funny thing is, you can make a meringue out of the liquid from a can of chickpeas. Which is really cool. That's very interesting, right? Not a lot of people know that. No, it's, it's <laughs> insane. I mean, it, it, it just works. And so we were making macaroons all day, and I had buckets and buckets of macaroons. All over, not macaroons. They're the chickpeas, chickpeas right? Chickpeas, I'm and sorry. And that's right, you're Miss Chickpea, and your, your husband came up with that. He's a clever guy. And you have right here, of course, like we were saying, the huge Pop-Tart. These are the regular size Pop-Tarts. You made something special for us today, and we're gonna check that out here in a little bit, but we actually, I'm gonna take a bite of one of these. You wanna join me, you wanna grab that one? We can cheers it. And these are one of the macaroons. Now, these have a also a vegan, uh, it's like a ganache in the middle. Cheers, we'll try it out. That's really good. I can't believe there's no eggs in this. That's incredible. Yeah. And you have all these other delicious treats. Now, what is one of the main things that people order when they come into the to the shop? The pop tarts for sure. Pop tarts are the main one. And what different flavors do you have here? Today we have strawberry, mixed berry, and we have our pineapple upside down. Ooh. Okay, so this one's the uh, mixed berry. That's our most popular. Now, look at the size difference of that. <laughs> I mean, are you gonna? Can people order the big one? Yeah, they can now. Now they can, right? Yeah. It's a thing now. It's something I've always thought of doing. Yeah, I mean, instead of a cake for your birthday, just get a giant Pop-Tart. How cool is that? I'm gonna I take a bite it. of this one here. Mm -hmm. mm. What I love about your treats is that you don't even know that they're vegan. Yes. Is that like a goal that you set when you were creating all this? If you can tell it's vegan, I'm not gonna serve it. There you go. I want everybody to have it. And the actual colors themselves that are on all this, it's that you actually use special kinds of dyes, right? Yes, well we use all natural food to dye it. So when we make the glaze for the Pop-Tarts mm -hmm. or most of the other glazes, we actually use our fruit sauces. Uh -huh. um, the purple comes from a mixture of our strawberry sauce and something called butterfly pea powder, which is made from... Um... What's it made out of? <laughs> You're like hesitant to say it. It's okay. <laughs> it's vegan stuff, right? It's like out of a it's like out of a flour powder kind of thing, right? It's like my little butch of a book of a vegan witchcraft. I just, <laughs> a little vegan bit of this, a little bit of that. And, and as you can happens. see here, you brought your piping bag. This has the chocolate ganache in there yeah. as well. And we have the bottom of the macaron right here. And what is there a specific technique? I got. You're gonna want to start in the middle. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> start in the middle and just kind of circle around there that. There we go. Oh my goodness, that's why you're the pro. Yeah, you almost ah! got it. I don't think I'm gonna. You I'll need, still eat it. I'll still. Eat you it. need some more training. Well, <laughs> Chef Tatiana, thank you so much for being here today. You guys can check out Miss Chickpea's Bake Shop. Of course, it's located right across from the Sprouts off I-10 in Callahan. Go check them out. Get the big pop heart. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll be right back with more Elder Eats. Thank you.
new episode of Elder Eats. Thank you so much, of course, to Miss Chickpeas Bake Shop for being here and for giving us all these delicious things. I mean, this is a huge Pop-Tart. And I want to tell you guys real quick for the weekend, don't forget, Car Fest is this weekend, Friday through Sunday. Get your chance to win a brand new car that you can get and drive away with. And there's going to be 10 cars given away throughout the weekend. Make sure you check it out there. we got information there. It's going to be at the Freeman Coliseum. Thank you so much, guys. And thanks for watching. Check it out. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, I almost dropped it. Oh, Ted.